I think where we may have left off was that uh, the tracker was at a mechanic. Uh, the tow truck guy took it to his shop to replace the uh, five wheel studs on the driver's side front wheel that were ruined whenever the lugs got loose, uh, which is uh, Robbie's Wrecker. And then they also have a tire shop uh, and a mechanic shop there. And uh, that's south of Russellville. Um, Dardanelle, Dardenville, something like that. Um, so I called them and uh, and she checked on it. She said, oh, it's done. And I said, oh, great. I said, how much was it? <laughs> and she said, $160. And I said, how much was the tow? And she says, oh, that includes the tow. So uh, I think they did a good, they did me well. Uh, Robbie's record, they, uh, they showed up whenever nobody else would and towed me back to Russellville and then took the car and fixed it. And uh, the tow was $100, and they charged me $63 to replace the uh, wheel studs. That I, I gave them the studs, but they still had to pound out the old ones and put new ones in, put it all back together. So uh, I was ecstatic. I think they did a good job. Um, the the uh, lug nuts that they acquired and put on there are weird, and I'm not real comfortable with them, but they did what they could. And uh, they were the right <clears throat> thread pattern and everything, so... Um, yeah, pretty happy with the job they did. I took Jen's bike and uh, went and got it and repacked every, uh, a lot of stuff on the roof so that I could fit the bike in the back because it didn't have the rack on it. And um, it drove good on the way back uh, to the rig. And uh, then I stopped it next to the rig and uh, went inside. Jen and I got some things ready. We went back outside to go shopping and the clutch was broken. It was completely broken. Uh, it would not disengage at all. I messed with it a little bit and uh, determined that it wasn't the clutch cable, that everything seemed to be working okay on the outside of the transmission, but that uh, there was no sound, uh, no difference in the gear sounds whenever I depressed the clutch anyway. The clutch just was inoperable. Wouldn't work at all. Messed with it for a little while, threw up my hands and said, okay, well, the truck's broken and uh, got back in it, went through all the gears a few times, started messing with the clutch, it still wasn't working, then all of a sudden, it started working again. And I have no idea why it went from not working at all to working again. So um, that's the good news, it started working again, but now I'm afraid it's gonna go back to not working again. So <laughs> I, I, I'm not real sure what it was, uh, what caused it. Um, so I'm gonna have to inspect it whenever I get home, but end result is car is working again um, I decided that Russellville <clears throat> For me anyway was bad juju or something. I was having bad luck there <clears throat> The wheel came off the car there and the clutch mysteriously quit working there as well as some other random things And I'm like, you know We got to leave Um, so, uh, here we are at, uh, Webb Lake. Uh, it is a rest stop that we're going to show. And then it also has a little, uh, road that goes off of the rest stop that goes to a little lake that you can camp at. So, uh, we're going to take, uh, the tracker back and look around and take Winter out for a bit. She's been going kind of crazy. So uh, this I think is, uh, Jen said it's lily pad lake and it does have lily pads on it. And there's uh, people out in a boat out there. And it looks like there's a gravel pit over there with some water totes. But uh, there's several little lakes here. I'm just not sure if I wanna stay another day here or if I wanna go but once we get to uh, home, we're probably gonna be there for at least two months, you know? 
a lot of stuff's going wrong that I have to uh, address. We'll see how it goes. But the plan is to leave by New Year. Looks like the water level uh, goes up and down because I think these are lily pads here that are dead because the water's below them. But yeah, lots of little boat ramps and stuff. That's the eastbound 40 there. Well, and westbound, going the other way. Yeah, it's a nice little stop. Hey, you're not driving the car. I'm driving the car. Hey, I am driving, not you. Yeah. So this is Webb Lake. Really pretty. What do you think, Winter? I'm gonna have her look at the water. before something else bad happens, but right. at the same time. Yeah, I mean, it's nice to know about this place and you did get to get a brief visit, so. Yeah. We should probably move on. Plus, it's a warning, people left grapes all over the place and I don't want her to get into them. So Winter has been really fighting us. She doesn't want to go back to the uh, the rest stop, she wants to hang out in the trees next to the lake, but we should probably hit the road. Yeah. Sorry, cutie. You I'm are sorry. gonna really enjoy all the grass at Grandma's house. Yeah, she, is. she does have that. She has acres of grass, literally. Literally acres of grass. Mm -hmm. And we're almost there. Yep. I really like this rest stop. I mean, even just the rest stop itself without the lake is pretty nice. Yeah, yeah that was cool to see. We'll definitely have to utilize it sometime. Yeah, yeah, I want to come back here. Um, I just, I hate uh, driving the rig along, you know, along roads uh, slowly because that's right, when the gears we'll get that the are transition. getting problems. Yeah, and there's always a chance that it could break whenever we're going along the, you know, not highways. <laughs> Anywhere below 45 miles an hour seems like it's a problem. Yeah, we better get ready to get out of here. So we are at a Kroger right now, and um, we try to find as many deals as we can on gas and a lot of the uh, grocery stores that have gas stations they have deals and uh, we just saved 20 cents per gallon which adds up to quite a bit 
so yeah we try and stop at these places when we can definitely help save money so it was 265 here and with the discount is 245 per gallon Last night uh, we were trying to get into uh, some rest areas but they were all full of big rigs and uh, <clears throat> I was feeling a little bit tired because I had uh, not gotten a whole lot of sleep the night before and um, we ended up pulling into a uh, cracker barrel um, so we could rest there let winter out a bit and uh, then we had breakfast this morning and uh, now we're in a uh, another rest area near uh, Nashville. So that's what's going on. Been doing a lot of uh, ups and downs on the 40, going down one hill, climbing up the other. And the uh, transmission had gotten up to about 220 or so, which I don't really like it getting that high with these problems it's been having. And uh, the engine and everything's off, but uh, the uh, engine was uh, getting up to where it was like almost to the high end of normal. So I mean, we may uh, we may continue on tonight after it gets a little bit cooler, or we uh, may wait until tomorrow morning. We're undecided right now. But yeah, he is like right on us. Not really sure why he parked so close. But I'm hoping he doesn't hit our mirrors. <laughs> 